to my wonderful and amiable listeners wherever you might be listening from welcome to yet another interesting news the coalition of 121 group rights nigerian board rights to nigerian boards and seeks to probe the AKT monarch over human rights violation and orders the nigerian human rights corporation community nhrc has called on the inspector general of police Olukayode Egwedokun to prove the activities of a monarch or by Johnson for Lorun Shi Aderiyi, the Alaye Gunle of Ayegunle Ekiti in Ekiti State. The NHRC, a coalition of 121 civil rights groups, said it received numerous complaints of gross human rights violations by the traditional ruler in the state. It therefore urged the Nigerian police chief to investigate the series of alleged at arbitrary arrest and detention of local believed to have been orchestrated by the king. This, con- this is contained in a statement signed by the NHRC Deputy Secretary, Taiwo Adeleye, who said the organization had received a barrage of petition from residents of the community who accused the traditional ruler of being behind the illegal detention of scores of young people of the community at various police stations in the state. According to the group, the lingering chaos may be may lead to loss of lives if steps are not taken to halt the situation. The statement read in part, the petitioners claim that the cumulative effect of what is happening now started in the last four years when the Oba and the, his entire chiefs, the civil, the, uh, the, with the civic center, which was built by a state community development authority. The petitioner said the issue escalated to the point that the old Ayegule sons and daughters came home to settle the matter, but seemed that the Oba and the chief were not pleased with the matter, which resurfaced against, again after six months. In 2021, another issue came up between the community youth and the Olori Awo Ojo Obashau, who threatened the youth with charms and all forms of bad rituals, raining courses reciting incantation and all forms of derogatory words upon the community youth. The NHRC was informed that this led to a serious protest within the community by the youth and the arbitrary arrest of many young people who were later detained. The youth were protesting with solidarity song that they wanted the Olori Awo removed and is, that he is causing confusion between the king, the Oba and the entire youth of the community. That's why the fact that the Oloriawo has committed a lot of atrocity within the community, such as taking the nude picture of his concubine and sending it to many social people on social media apart from impregnating a minor. The NHRC said despite all this, the Oba did not sanction him but rather, let the, but rather backed him. It continued, the recent one was the imposition of the community, the traditional guard said, to be cronies of the Oba and also serve as his dogs. The report indicated that the Oba disrupted the Elephant Festival after which he locked up some notable youth leaders in a cell he was alleged to have in his domain. The youth leader was beaten to a stupor. A passenger who saw him when he was taken inside went to inform the youth. The youth went to his house demanding the release of the man but he refused. This made the angry youth seize one of his children, saying he would be released only if he released the man to them. The locals complained that the Oba called the police and lied to them that the man in his house came into his compound to kill him because he was holding a class and a sack. The following week, also, four of the chiefs were arrested and were remanded at the Ado prison. Below are the names of those in the detention, allegedly on the order of the Oba are Ojo Ajayi Matthew, Olugola Olumide, Omole Femi, Omodara Olayinka, Alade Okinbayo, Omo Konjushion, Afeni Oladimeji, Adaramola Adibayo. The following chief opposed to the Oba are also in detention, High Chief Pius Ogulesi Eshikin, High Chief Ayodele Omoni Odofin, High Chief Ojo Omokonju Eshaya. 
since these people have been detained, the supporters of the Oba led by Ojo Bashao Oloya Awo have made the community uninhabitable for the people by attacking the people incessantly and calling the police on anyone who wants to respond to their attack. The local alleged that shops of non supporters and relatives of the youth are being locked up at will, making up activities of the community to be paralyzed. The NHRC called on the Inspector General of Police to thoroughly investigate the matter and bring copies to book, the statement added. The Nigerian Human Rights Communication, NHRC, has called on the Inspector General of Police to probe the activities of Oba Folon Shaw Johnson Adiriye, the Alaye Gunle of Aye Gunle in Ekiti State. The Alaye Gunle of Ekiti State, the NRC, which is a coalition of 121 civil rights groups, has said and they have received numerous complaints of gross human rights violations by the traditional ruler in the state. They, say, they urge the Nigerian police chief to investigate the series of alleged arbitrary arrests and detention of locals believed to have been orchestrated by the king. This is contained in a statement signed by the NHRC Deputy Secretary Taiwo Adileye, who, was, who said the organization has received a barrage of petitions from residents of the community who accused the traditional, traditional ruler of being behind the illegal detention of scores of young people of the community at various police stations in the state. The petitioner claimed that the cumulative effect of what is happening in the, in the community started in last four years when the Oba and his chief were, a, were at Logar Aid in connection with the Civic Center, which was being built at Ekiti State Community Development Authority. The petitioner said the issue escalated to the point that the old Aye Gunle boys and sons and daughters came home to settle the matter, but seemed that the Oba and the chief were not pleased with the matter, which resurfaced again after six months. Said in 2021, another issue came up between the community youth and the Oloriawo, who threatened the youth and charm, with charms and all kind of bad rituals, raining curses on them, reciting incantation and all kind of derogatory words used upon the community youth. The NHRC informed that this led to a protest in the community by the youth and the arbitrary arrest of many young people who were later detained. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.